I need resupply and point Badan. I'll head your way now. You've got a lot of nerve. Ah! I'll probably catch cold. You spot anything you can use? Show me what you got. I'll be in This is done. You know how to find me. What will you put your hand? Stupid fuck got in deep to Barbieri. Last seen heading to Robidoux. Truth, you think. But if he did, we wouldn't be having a conversation. Wish I could afford to move out. The biggest mistake Dr. King ever made was trusting a white man. You see, friend with the enemy, you risk everything. While you're busy eating that oh. steak, they're raising a gun up to the back of your head. Hurting Every folks like this ain't fun for me. Do rise up to you do about about and it don't have to happen. Just pay me oh, what's fucking due. Blue. Understand? Oh, I know! Just stop, please! Well, I'm on. Turn a blind eye to the fucking call. Not like it. I'm so fucked. How long have you been here? Trespassing, now? brother. Three, maybe four. Days. Uh, uh, days. Uh, Jesus, Jack. You break it up. Just to break it up. Oh, yeah, Jesus. some good oh. shit. Mm.
You gotta get yours. What's out here? Dale, Dale, do you see him? You? Me? This ends now! Am I crazy or is that a gun? What happened with that redhead the other night? Oh, man. We went back to her place, plowed each other blind. Well, at least till her mama walks in on us, starts yelling, screaming, threatening. Then the bitch holds me at gunpoint till the redhead's daddy came home. I warned you about that Irish pussy. <laughs> that you did. Anyway, he's this ugly Irish asshole, prides himself on being a do-not-fuck-with kind of guy. What happened when he got home? There he is!
That shit's all him. Let's go. He's still dead. You think that scares me? Are you? I'm the one saving you, thieving ass. Let's go. Run! Run! Everybody, run! Gun in that guard's hand? Huh? Hey! Don't look back. I Just get to the phone.
All set to take him out. Oh, attention. You can die. I'm not fucking ready. What's he gonna do with that piece? Huh? No one's paying off the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with the butcher. Sonny's back over at the Roberto. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan sharking and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, hear? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious colored fella disrupting his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. That's it, man. You pay up today or we we'll take your fucking call. Oh, come on. You can just give me a few more days. It was a few more days last week.
What I can't understand is what kind of idiot makes his last stand at an old fun bar. From what I hear, Richie wasn't gonna be winning no awards for a smart. Anyways. Yeah, anyway. What are we doing here, man? Sal pitching in with that cracker motherfucker, letting him lose a whole piece of the city. Sal's up to something big. Looks like Not Richie cool. owes Sammy. It was just little pieces in it. Whatever it is, it's way above what you and me get paid to know. Cracker fucked it up for all of us. All of us? You're the one trying to get at that hollow pussy. Damn, have your girl come see you? Way Donald tells them, they found out you fucking black hole. And Haitian boys will come for you. Well, there you go. Stop trying to fuck black girls. Only a matter of time before your wife finds out. You remember her, right? Looking pretty lively for a dead guy. I guess you were able to keep Burke sober long enough to get him on our side?
The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut, and then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can not leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. going in there. How you think? Vito's taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill the poor son of a bitch and get it over with. Nah. Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito until we all respect him. If only all it took was beating up on a washed up carpet bagger. Shouldn't have come here. I'm hit! Monkeys like How we been? Go see if he's over there. We got a score settled now.
We got a body here. Look out of me. We'll we rip all around. Ain't no one feeling real secure about that place, though. We just keep at it. We got a score to settle now. Do your fucking job and find him! Fuck this guy. I'm on top. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if you fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur, never sat on a big score before. That money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop, make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. What's your partners now? As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. And next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer.
is that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys have been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship. You should be able to get some of his guys talking. He's leaving the city. I get a resupply in River Road. Going at you. Hang tight. Come on. Hey, same story. Anything you want here? Let me see what you got. I'll be. This is not fucking bode well. On the road. Run for cover. Damn weak. All set to take him out. Get that stupid son of a bitch! Now. 
time to check it out, it's all yours. Send a guy over to the curious about it. He was going to wait. You goddamn did he just shoot him? Hot damn. I told him there was I say you owe dues. You better fucking pay. How's going to spot him? Come on. Can't wait to kill you, cocksucker. Need some wheels. And Burke says you're the only person we're talking to about it. No can do, lad. Sorry. says you're the only person we're talking to about. Well, Burke's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Here's your car, boss. That's a big help. Get 
daydreaming and find that cunt. Yeah, you like that? You got any oh, you see today? That? Just took it. Just took his life like it wasn't nothing. What are you looking at? This city is going to. We're the... falling behind here. Chop, chop. Let's go. We, we need a doctor here. Is anybody a doctor? Bet it ain't this born in Nam. Huh? <laughs> Ugh, someone could use a shower. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> this is what happens if you lip off. Take him down. Motherfucker has a death. Run, Rabbit, run! Don't you know you're dead? I'm boxed in on it! I ain't going out like that. I'm not ready to die. I'm not fucking ready, man.